Welcome back to the channel, Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and check out the new preview. We got the uh, Hexmark Destroyer reveal. And now uh, they're obviously doing like a little uh, ad mech, kind of like a uh, Wild Wild West thing. Uh, definitely very cool. I'm a big fan of the Kelomorph and the new models and everything. Um, but as you may see, uh, Billy the Nid, they came up with some like uh, clear little cool names and everything. Uh, here's our new guy. He looks awesome. He's loaded up with like six pistols or uh, something like that. Uh, maybe four. Four pistols or something like that. And uh, he is the Dimensional Planes Drifter. Uh, and the parallel they're drawing between him. Oh yeah, he's got at least six. Yeah, six there. Uh, the parallel they're drawing between him is he has a similar rule um, to the uh, to the Keller Morph where he can pop in basically from Deep Strike, shoot off his like six pistols, uh, basically like snipe somebody. And then uh, from the pistol shots, if he kills something, uh, he gets to shoot an additional time. And uh, he's like hitting on twos, re-rolling ones. Uh, he is an absolute savage. I haven't seen like the full rules for him yet, but I know it's going to be awesome. The Keller Morph before was awesome. And you could like throw a little uh, uh, throw a little stratagem up on him. And he would like absolutely decimate uh, whatever you dropped him in on. So I assume the Necrons are going to be like a powerful Xenos faction. And uh, you know everybody's complaining right now about... The old range and the rules and all this stuff, but everything's changing right now, so you got to kind of just wait and play it out, uh, see how it all works out. I mean, now that we know like tactical marines and the old school stuff's all gonna have like two wounds, uh, that's gonna change everything. Uh, it's gonna change how the entire game is played. I like the idea of it. Uh, who knows what that's gonna do to Primaris now and how the pricing is gonna be different. Um, so you just gotta like wait and let it all kind of hash out and uh, trust in the play testing. As crazy as that sounds, considering. Uh, we ended up with like so many things like Iron Hands and uh, Imperial Fists and all this different stuff. But uh, as the edition kind of like switches over and uh, people get used to it and the tournament scene opens back up, uh, you know, as it becomes like safe again or safer, um, you know, we'll essentially see like the meta kind of like build itself out a little bit. And then each time a new codex comes out, uh, we'll start to see like the evolution of the edition. Uh, but at this point in time, you know, it's cool to get excited about everything. But I wouldn't get too critical about a specific rule because you never know when there's just going to be some stratagem that makes a model or something absolutely phenomenal or, uh, you know, vice versa. A rules change or something like that uh, that hasn't been, like, seen yet or, uh, you know, whatever. So uh, definitely very excited. Games Workshop's coming out with some awesome stuff. Uh, really, really exciting, cool stuff. So, uh, and speaking of cool stuff, uh, let's flip over to the Necromunda real quick. Uh, actually, we got the new releases, I think. Uh, these were absolutely awesome. Uh, this is the new, uh, uh, basically it's like the new Escher they have. Uh, and then there's some Slave Ogrens and everything. They had like previewed them before. Uh, but uh, very soon there's actually going to be like some Orlocks. And I saw there's like uh, some like Cyber Dogs and all kinds of like cool stuff and everything. So uh, here are the Escher Maidens. Uh, if you haven't seen these yet, these models are absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it's 42 bucks in the USA. Uh, but you get quite a few models for them. You get these cool little like animals and everything. Uh, very cool. It's like some uh, crazy little like cat creatures, sort of like a little lizardy uh, as well. And then you got like the awesome bow and arrows and uh, these crazy like uh, I think they were called like witch maidens or something like that. Uh, very cool, very cool models. Uh, and I'm excited for this. I know people were worried about if they're going to keep supporting like all these different games and everything. And uh, I think it's very obvious they are going to keep supporting them because you know they're a business and they want to sell stuff. So all the people that are worried about Kill Team going away and everything like that doesn't make any sense. Kill Team has a big following. Um, not only like people that play 40k, uh, but also people that specifically only play Kill Team. So although we may see like, you know, a little lull between like, you know, Kill Team stuff or like Warcry stuff or whatever coming out, uh, I wouldn't put it past them to continue with that game, continue expanding it, comp continue the range. Uh, because, it, I mean, it's money. That's what it is. It's all about business. It's all about money. You're not just going to discontinue a car, um, you know, assuming people will buy the new kind of cars you make. If, uh, you know, the old kinds are still selling well, you're going to keep that Camry going for, you know, 30 years and people are just going to keep buying it because that's their favorite car. In the same way that, like, Kill Team and Necromunda are people's favorite games, I would expect support to continue on for these forever, uh, you know, as long as it's viable. Uh, um, and this set is 80 bucks. comes with six of these bros. And if I'm not mistaken, it looks like if you buy just two of them, it's 40 or you can get uh, eight of them, or I'm sorry, six of them for uh, 80 which is really cool. Um, so basically, like, you just buy, like, the, the separate set, like the Ambots, and you get two of them for 40 Or uh, if you buy, like, the full gang of them, uh, you basically get two for free. So uh, that is very cool. I'm definitely a fan of uh, whenever they give you, like, 
a nice little deal, especially if you can run like a whole gang of just these bros, uh, which are very cool. And uh, speaking of Ambots, I'm sure there's going to be some cool kit bashes and everything. I'm sure these guys are going to end up uh, all over the place. I could see like, I could see them being like some awesome looking Bulgren in 40k. Uh, I could see them doing all kind of stuff with these. So I'm excited to uh, kit bash these myself. So there you have it, guys. Warhammer Man Studios. I'm Warhammer Man, and I'm out of here.